¿Qué haces? No. Yo no te dije que lo, lo voy a sacar. ¿Estamos o no estamos? Me avisas por el año. So, hello. Good afternoon. Welcome back. Uh, today we will have an um, interesting case. But before to start my case, I would like to explain a little bit the new technology that we will use in this case, okay? Um, this is uh, the new US uh, scopes. I, uh, I like to use the radial and linear scope for my evaluation. And I would like to show you the, the new US scope from Pentax Medical. This is a um, new design, um, very ergonomic with a lot of difference from from the from the 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 first uh, the the T series uh, from the from from the same uh, company, but this is a very dif uh, complete different uh, uh, design. Okay, so one of the the big advantage is that it's less heavy when you compare it with the other the other one. I don't know if you are looking to my to my to my scope. Me puedes traer el otro de condoscopio, gracias. El, radi el radial de la serie K. So, before this series, the J10 series, we had um, the K series, okay? So, uh, there is a difference from, from both uh, scopes. So, in terms of uh, the characteristic, the, the radial continues to be the same very similar tip so we have a uh, image that is uh, a front view image very similar to a gastroscope you can see both the scopes this is the this is the k series okay so the other from the radio the other important aspect in the ergonomic part is this one thing aquí Quiero ver esta parte. So the distal part, the the the, the proximal part of the scope is the ergonomic is totally different, as you can see here. You see, so we have here two insertion of cables, and this is just one insertion. So the the change um, performer for this new J10 series in this ergonomic part is very important because now the cables are here. I don't know if we can see a little bit. The patio. Okay. You can see here. Look. So this this change make the scope less heavy than the before technology that we already had. And also this is totally different. Huh? The adapter to the ultrasound machine is completely different now. Now it's very small, really small. And this comes from this part. And this is very interesting. And finally, the other important aspect is that with this scope, we can perform a retro, retro view, retrovision. Okay. With the K series, the last generation of a scope. Podemos hacer una por favor. You see? Look. Ten. Okay. Look, so the angulation is completely different, okay? And so we have more degrees uh, of angulation, and this is a very good aspect. So we can do a retrovision if we need it, okay? And we have also the linear. The linear scopes have uh, improved a lot also. 
is also less heavy. The, the same characteristic uh, regarding the ergonomics. Me el otro tubo. The same characteristics. And I would like to show you. the big improvement regarding the ergonomic aspect, not just for the physician, also for the patients, okay? So, so this is a, the tip is totally different from the last version, the K series scope. You can see it's less heavy also, the J10 series, really less heavy. So to perform endoscopic ultrasound, therapeutic or ev even diagnosis is really is really important so you see the same the big difference this is very heavy and this is because of this um, technical aspect okay the cables were put in here in the in the proximal part of the scope so this is this was not good and the other improvement is the tip I don't know if you can see. It's a big difference. And the quality of image of this new scope, the J10 series, really improved a lot. Not just for the machine, I think it's also because of the crystal part of the scope. The other really important aspect is that this part was really heavy. You can see here. You see? So. Okay. Look the difference. It's less centimeters from the tip, and this improve a lot the insertion of the tube, not just in the pyloric part of the stomach from th from the stomach to the duodenum, also in the first duodenal part and the second duodenal part. So uh, this change, you see here, you have at least six centimeters, and here we have at least four centimeters. So it's two to three centimeters less, and it's more more angulation. So we can do also a retroflexion. That is very difficult and very hard to do with this uh, scope. So this is um, some ergonomic uh, and technical parts of the new tube. Uh, and I would like it to show you because this is a um, very interesting um, advance in terms of uh, this new platform of US uh, scopes, okay? So I, would tr I will um, perform my US today. Then the case that I would like to show you is a 44 years old woman with a history of uh, cystic pancreatic lesion and appears an uh, augmentation of the of the eucinate process okay so i will start my my us evaluation with my r radial scope i i like to go faster i am using now the the new uh US machine, uh, ultrasound machine, that this is the Arieta 850. The quality of image have changed a lot. You can see now, this, this is very sensitive uh, uh, ultrasound machine. Huh? So uh, now I am at the level of, of the cardia. We, we see the liver and the aorta. I will see a quickly evaluation of the mediastinum. I don't see any uh, any mass, any lymph nodes, and the other anatomic aspects are okay. So now I will do my second part. This is why I love to use my radial. I will uh, go inside the stomach now. I see the splenic vessel here, the celiac trunk here, You see here, 
And now I found I am I found my pancreas now here. So I am the level of the body of the pancreas here at six hours. You see the quality of image of this scope. One of the main advantage also is this one. I can increase my image, you see here, even using my radial. So now I, am, I see very well my body of the pancreas. I see my main pancreatic duct that is very well, no alterations. And I am trying to find any lesion here. That's a small ball well. So now I am going to the tail of the pancreas and I see this this alteration, this lesion here. I will use Doppler now. Fine flow Doppler. So uh, this is a cystic lesion here. This patient just have abdominal pain, but doesn't have any increase of uh, laboratory parameters. So now I will see this. This is a cystic lesion, isolate the cystic lesion. And one of the differential diagnoses for this lesion is uh, serous cystodenoma, but we have other differential diagnoses, and uh, it's very important to evaluate this lesion. I will show you how we will we'll evaluate by by US. This is a mic microcystic lesion, and could be also a um, mucinous cystodenoma. And we have also neuroendocrine uh, tumors and pseudopapillar tumors because this is a woman, okay? So uh, I am trying to see if there is any communication with the main pancreatic duct of this lesion. I don't see anything, okay? I will pass a little bit faster now. No sé si podemos ver la parte endoscópica. So one of the advantage also of the radial is that we can see in forward view. You see? Exactly like to perform a uh, upper endoscopy. So this is a very ergonomic uh, scope. Now I am here in, in my bulb and now I will pass to my second portion. Okay. So I need to evaluate also the oncinate process now. Podemos ver la imagen de ecográfica. Gracias. So I am at the level of my third part of the duodenum. Okay, so now I am looking to my uncinate process. Okay, here. So I don't see nothing uh, in the uncinate process. Huh? It's perfect. So my uncinate process is okay. And now I am going to the head of the pancreas now. Here is the head of the pancreas. Here there is no any abnormality, okay? Again, this is the head of the pancreas here. So you see the quality of the image is very good. Huh? So this is one of the new technology that we have uh, now available. 
in the Americas. So now I will change my tube. I will use my linear and I will perform a fine needle um, evaluation using confocal in this case because I need to see if this patient have uh, a serocystodenum or any other kind of cystic lesion. So this is very interesting, very important and uh, to evaluate the patients. There are some papers, even one from uh, or group that is there is a a, a new meta-analysis already published in gastrointestinal endoscopy with all the series uh, where we evaluate the new technologies for uh, for cystic lesions and we we demonstrate and the meta-analysis also demonstrate that this is very important. Uh, to evaluate the, the lesions uh, with new technologies because these cystic lesions sometimes when are macro cystic lesions is are very difficult to uh, define what kind of lesions we have. So now I am using my linear scope. You can see one of the advantages also the window to see uh, using the ultrasound. Okay. So now I am looking to my lesion. You can see, no sé si podemos ver la imagen endoscópica. Just to show you um, how we look, how we see the endoscopic part, you see, uh, we can, even we cannot see uh, the tip of the scope. It's easier to pass, you see, in the, sec in the, in the pyloric part and also in the second portion. Uh, it's really easier with this uh, scope. The maneuverability is technically technically improve a lot. So now um, so Okay, necesito mi aguja. Sí, por favor. So I will pass my needle. Now I will use a nighting gauge needle. Vamos a hacer contraste, ¿no? ¿Tienes el contraste ahí? So now I will use um, because of the history of abdominal pain, I will use um, contrast with this machine just to evaluate uh, yeah. So we have the lesion here. So I will uh, explain a little bit what we will sh see or what we are looking for using um, the contrast in this lesion. So the pseudocyst lesion doesn't perform a um, captation of the contrast. Second, um, the other cystic lesion, w they will perform a captation of the of the contrast, okay, and um, the pseudopapular tumors that are cystic lesions, in those cases doesn't 
perform a captation, okay? So in this context, we will evaluate using contrast. So now we will see there is no, uh, I am not using contrast now. Me avisas, okay, listo, pone la mitad de primero de la ampolla. So I will start my count. ¿Ya está pasando? Sí, la mitad está bien. So the contrast is arriving, you see? Okay? The arteries, uh, there is a captation of the arteries. But I don't see any captation of the wall, the cystic wall, at least now. Mm? Oh, a little bit now. A little bit here. Just here. So, but this is not a hypercaptation. You can see this is hi hypercaptation. This is the the artery, and here not. Okay, and this is the parenchyma. So probably, probably. At least now, for my evaluation, just with this technology, I believe that probably it's not a serous histodenoma. Okay. So now I will pass my needle now. Está precargado, ¿no? So I have my confocal here. And probably the amount of uh, liquid will not be a lot, but the idea is to try to see a little bit. So now it's very important to push the plastic part. I'm trying to see if there any communication. I don't see any communication with the. I don't see any communication with the. Maybe there. With the main pancreatic duct. It's not. It's not a communication. Huh? It's not a really communication. You see. Uh, I think it's uh, just. Uh, yes. You see. Uh, like a superposition of image over overposition of image you see here the main pancreatic duct is here uh, to my opinion here and continuous you see when there is a communication we see the the main pancreatic duct finishing here so I don't see that there is any communication now and I will try now to for my punction. Okay, so now I am inside and my confocal is out. Podemos ver el confocal, por favor? Confocal. Oh. Really interesting, huh? I'm trying to see a very good image.
this is not a serious uh, cystic lesion. Huh? So now we can confirm now that this is not a serious cystic lesion. But I'm not so sure that this could be also a... Mucinocystic lesion, huh? I don't see projections. I don't see popularity. So... Uh, so I believe that this is not a... This is probably a pseudo papillary tumor because if I see all the characteristics, this is a woman, young woman, first. Um, second, this is a cystic lesion in the in the body of the pancreas, near to the tail. I, the, the localization is not uh, is not fantastic, but just for for the age of the woman of the patient, I believe that is that. Third, uh, there is no captation with contrast, and uh, this is not a pseudocyst. So this is probably a papillary tumor. Huh? So I don't see any parameter. This is a, a vascular lesion. You see, uh, no, no vascularity. We don't see anything. Okay. So I don't see papillary projections. I don't see road net uh, image, so to my opinion, this is um, this is um, no, this is a pseudo popular tumor. Okay, so now I will retire my confocal and I will pass a Murray biopsy forceps and I will finish my procedure. Okay? Me pasas una pinza Murray, por favor. Cuidado. No te muevas. No, no, no hagas nada. Okay. Listo, retira. So I will pass I will pass a, a Murray biopsy forceps and I will finish my procedure. So I think uh, one of the big advantage it's not ju the just the technological improvements regarding uh, the or for this is the murite forceps okay so we pass through the needle close and I will finish my procedure So we are finishing our our full paper regarding the new technologies for evaluation of this cystic lesion. So now I am inside. Puede huh? abrir. You see, it's open now. Huh? We see very well. Huh? This is one of the characteristics of this machine. Huh? We can see very well, you see, very well. Uh, the quality of the image uh, of ultrasound machine is fantastic. That's why I love it. Okay, close, Sierra. You see? You see? Oh! I have tissue now. So, no blood. Okay. Abre. Abre, hijo. Aquí está todavía. En la punta está. So my technical assistant is not good. He's in love now. That's the problem. Sí. So we we have two very good uh, tissue, and I will pass again. 
my mu Murai biopsy forceps just to have uh, more tissue and a good confirmation, okay? Okay, Abre. Okay, Abre. So now it's open. Cierra. No, Abre. Cierra. Okay, now it's okay. So w we finish. I will perform an aspiration, but I don't have too much liquid now. So I will finish now my case. I will do some comments regarding the, the tissue. You see, I don't have too much liquid. So we finish now. I think everything is inside the needle. Okay. Listo, terminamos la transmisión. Thank you so much. Um, I think this is a pseudo-papillary tumor. Cystic lesion, okay? Thank you so much.